Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at brightness sliders. So in this scene, I've just got a couple of things just for references. But if I hit play, all I've got is just a little slider here. If you want to check out how to like implement it into a an options menu, I have a tutorial on that and a tutorial on then implementing that into a game as well. Basically, you just slide up and down and you the, the scene gets brighter or darker. One thing to bear in mind is at the moment, I do have a, a directional light in the scene as well. So if I were to change the color of that to be able to kind of suit an outside scene, I could do that out there. And also, it's going to be making things a bit brighter. So if I deleted it, then it's going to get a lot darker. Obviously, I've got a skybox on, but the objects are very dark compared to how they normally are. So all we have to do to be able to implement this, the very first thing I'd like to mention is that we have to go into window and lighting uh, because by default we've got skybox lighting and the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to be doing it based on a color that the ambient light is so it, it goes between white and black basically. You could tweak it if you wanted so the ambient light would be, if, you, if your entire game is outside or inside or you wanted to add a certain twinge of color to it, you could tweak this code but obviously tutorial purposes I've just made it quite simple so I've created it uh, in a C-sharp script so the only real difference is between the C-sharp and the Unity script version is that you would obviously just have a variable and then call it the float up there and you wouldn't need to put new um, and function instead of void but other than that everything else is exactly the same so what we've just got is one float variable that I've called RBG value because it's basically the RBG values of the ambient light that we're changing we then have a slider, which I talk over in the uh, options menu tutorial, but basically it is the RBG value equals the outcome of the GUI horizontal slider that at the moment I've got it at a specific point in the screen, but you can place it wherever you want. So I've got it as the screen width divided by 2 minus 50, 90, 100, and then 30. So that places it exactly where it was in the screen about there. And the value that it is to, it is to start with is the RBG value and that's where the little square is the slider and then we've got the minimum and maximum floats that we want it to be so we've got zero to one because that's the range of bright of the colors from zero to one and then directly after that you probably should put this inside an update function but it works on on the gui but you to make sure everything runs at the right speeds you should probably put it inside the update function but just for tidiness i just shoved it in here we've got uh, render settings dot ambient light equals new color or javascript you just have color rbg value rbg value rbg value one so one is the alpha so it's transparency and then we've also got each of the other ones are the rbg value so that keeps it as a solid gray so it goes from white to black uh, along the gray scale so if you wanted to change it to be a certain color, you could tweak these numbers. So the blue could be always RBG value. And then if you wanted it to be more blue, you could do RBG value minus 10% here and plus 10% here. And then if you wanted it to be more orange and you could do the other way around and it would do that. So I hope that's useful for you guys. Obviously, if you're going to be having lighting in your scene, then you, you it won't be as orange as say that would be. You would, you would have your lights to kind of account for that. So I hope that's useful. And I'll see you next time.